So the uh, microphone on my other computer is still not working. Yay. So I'm using this um, lovely backup computer that I have. So if I'm looking off to the side, that's because I'm looking at my notes on my um, laptop that I normally use to record these videos on. Um, this computer is so old, but it's, you know, it's made several moves with me because when in doubt, have a backup. So, um, the first film, I, or the, I rented a couple of movies, I just lost the cases, oh, I rented a couple of movies from Videodrome, and um, the first one I watched tonight was called Woman Walks Ahead, Let's see if I can get that to show up, oh my god, nope, not gonna work, okay, um, maybe, there, okay. So a Woman Walks Ahead, also on Amazon Prime. I did not know that it was on Amazon Prime when I rented it, but that's okay because I like supporting Videodrome. They are fantastic. So Woman Walks Ahead is directed by Susanna White. I saw her previous film, um, Our Kind of Traitor, starring Ewan McGregor a couple years ago because uh, I like Ewan McGregor, and I try to support all the women. And uh, this film was released by A24, but it did not play in Atlanta as far as I think because I didn't see it anywhere. Um, it's written by Stephen Knight. Stephen Knight is also British, Zena White's British, um, and he's written things like Locke and Eastern Promises and Pe Peaky Blinders. And my main concern with this film is its screenplay. It completely, um, changes the history of this story. This is the story of Catherine Weldon, a portrait painter and, um, Native American activist, a Native American rights activist from the 1800s. Her actual story is that she was divorced and um, breaking up with a lover when she decided to go off to the West and paint Sitting Bull's portrait. Uh, however, in this film, she is a widow who's clearly very happy about being widowed. In real life, she had a lot of money that she inherited when her mother died. In this film, they continually talk about her father who has a lot of money. Um, in real life, she was a mother who brought her child with her who then died in the West. In this film, she has no child. There are so many bits about her life that are not right that I'm like, why Why change it? I don't get it unless like her estate were, said they had to change it or something. But then they also change the... Um, they change the... Uh, chronology of the, of the history of Sitting Bull's death, of how he actually died. They add a, 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 a fake, like, part of person of his tribe that had it out for him. They um, sort of make it seem like the government gave the native tribes a choice in how, in the allotment um, treaty that got, that happened, that sort of split all of the... Um, was one of the last basic land grabs that the government did against the native people. It's like how many of these how many things do they have to change to all of the things that happened as they happened could have had the same dramatic effect as what is in this film, but unfortunately they changed so much and they made the government less culpable of the things that they did. Um and that was terrible and it's like this is this film came out in 2018, it was filmed in 2016 came out in fests in 2017, we're at a time where we need we need to do better by our country's history. And the people who made this film were not American. They were all British. And it's like, do they not even know how important it is to get the, the specifically the Native West right? Because it's been so done so wrong for so long. It's just so frustrating. The one thing this film does have going for it is uh, both its performances and its um, intentions, which are to present a, a better uh, representation of Native people. Um, and it does that. Uh, and the performance um, of the actor playing Sitting, Sitting Bull, it's Michael Gray Eyes. He is very good. He is what you, exp you know, what you, what you hope for in a film about a Native person in 2018 to be. Um, Jessica Chastain is very good. Um, I wish that uh, Sam Rockwell got more to do. He's just sort of a, you know, what you expect, bad, you know, um, army person. Um, same with Syrian Hines. I don't know how to say his name. Um, I just, I had expectations for this film and they were not met. 
Um, it also wasn't well shot. Like, I feel like it's one of the least well um, shot films that attempted to capture the beauty of the West. For, for someone who talks about how beautiful the West is, and there's so much talks about how beautiful the prairies are and all of this, I don't think they captured how gorgeous and how well lit the West is at all. It was really shocking how not gorgeous they made the West look when, you know, I'm from there and I can tell you it's gorgeous. And also I think the film was shot in New Mexico, um, probably because of the um, tax write-offs that happened there and uh, not in Standing Rock where it is set. I also think the film um, attempted to use her story as a cipher to talk about contemporary issues without actually doing right by the, the real story and the real history. And there's a way to talk about real history to have it mirror what is happening in contemporary society without just turning a person's, you know, historical person's story into a cipher. There's a way to do that so that you tell, do right by them and um, have a parallel into today. I don't think this film does that well at all. And that's unfortunate. Um, so I don't know that I can recommend this film. Uh, <laughs> I'm very critical of it. This is Woman Walks Ahead. It's by Susanna White. It's written by Stephen Knight. It stars Jessica Chastain. And I'm glad that Chastain is really doing right by female directors and making so many films with them. I just wish this were a better film. Um, this is Woman Walks Ahead.